Greetings to you, my dears. I hope that you are fine wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending with your time zone. My people, hey, welcome to Mary's TV. If you are my returning subscriber, I love you from the bottom of my heart. To the newest people in the house, welcome, welcome, welcome. Take a seat. Yeah, here is home. And of course, home is best. Let's do some talk, some chit chat. Today is on a Friday. It is um, 7 p.m. here in Kenya. Just from work and I thought of why not sit down and just do some little chat with you, my people. Of course, yesterday I wasn't able to upload, not even to upload, to do or to shoot a video. And the reason is because we did not have electricity. Hey, the government of Kenya, I don't know what they are up to. We did, like, we did not have electricity in the region that I am in. And therefore, there's nothing that I could do. But I, as always, I have you at the back of my mind, somewhere there. So my people, there are so many things that have been happening in the whitey streets. We had our girl, our one and only Empress coming out of TNT shop to Grenada. Hey, allow me to pronounce it the way I can. It's not my mouth. <laughs> it's not my mouth. Me, I'm trying on. So she's in Grenada, and we've seen her doing a lot of content. So that is one part of the tingo. The other part of the tingo, today remember is a Friday, we are like doing a summary or a recap of everything. The other tingo is that our person, Chris, was arrested, and he stayed in the cell for a few days. He was released on bail, and then he went to court, and eventually... He was allowed to leave. TNT. Do you get the tingle? Are we together? Hey, <laughs> things are not thing. Things are not the way they're supposed to be. The expectations of the next year has been crushed because they were now talking about Chris. Hey, calling him Christopher, calling him a fake Mzungu. <laughs> I saw one of the next year talking about the now the nose of uh, Christopher, and he was like. What do people see? Like, if you look at that nose, is that nose of a mzungu? <laughs> hey, you will one day kill us in the streets of Whitey. Ah, seriously? Look at my nose. Is this a nose of an African? <laughs> if you get it, you get it. And actually, how can you make such a comment? And you stay in Germany. You have two kids. That the father is a muzungu. Are you, what are you trying to tell us? Are you a racist? Black Beauty TV. Could you be a racist and it is only that you're not telling us? Please tell us what you're hiding. Could you be a racist? Because you can't judge the origin of a person by just the physical appearance. You can't. You can't. Never. Actually, we are, you know, we are in a different era where such no longer matter. So I don't know what she's up to. So look at what they were saying. That Chris has started a go fund me, you know, go fund me, whatever. And is asking for people to donate for him. And the word is donate. Hey, I wish I had my dictionary here. It is only that I'm shooting using my phone and I can't check. When you want to donate to someone, it is out of free will. Nobody forces you. Do you get the gist? Nobody forces you. And that is why, like, when you look at uh, YT, there are so many, many uh, avenues for you to generate funds. And none of them is compulsory. If you have merchandise and you want to sell to your audience, remember, if they want, they buy. If they don't want, they don't buy. You can have your, your YT store where you sell whatever you want to sell to them. And again, willing buyer, willing seller. Do you get the tingo? <laughs> I hope you get the tingo because this tingo is not tingling the way it is. It should be. We have what we call membership. Hey? In fact, before I go on about membership, I'm so happy, I'm so happy that... At least I have my first member, my first member that bought 
membership just to join my ex uh, exclusive pack thank you so much thank you so much i love you my sister thank you so much for supporting my channel so when it comes to membership again it is optional it is optional if a member likes what you do rather a subscriber likes what you do they can uh buy whichever the package that they want because the package varies from very little to even a lot of money it is how they want and nobody forces anyone willing buyer willing seller do you get the tingle so when chris came out with a gofundme account what is it called gofundme account did he come out and say that it is compulsory for anyone to donate to him no he was appealing to his organic subscribers to come out and help him and you'll never understand these naysayers hey i don't know who needs to study them actually they need to be studied eh? their psychology is wanting they need to be studied do you guess what uh, guess what these people are out here that chris is rich that is the narrative that they have brought out here that chris has i don't know a lamborghini i don't know he has what you know all those types of cars that are very expensive that chris has them or when he's in canada he showcases his mansionette of course chris is rich and if you're rich that does not mean that you cannot you know uh sought for help from people look at his yt just uh the yt account how many views does he get in a month up to one million this is a rich person so don't just come out here and try to push it in our minds we are not that thick we know and especially if you have been following these people you know how rich they are but again remember it is donation willing buyer willing seller if today i decide i come here and appeal for someone to help me maybe you know build a house or buy for me a piece of shamba or help me educate my children remember it is out of your own willingness and i don't see the need for the naysayers to come out and talk about it as if their life you know their life depends on this and actually i'm wondering what is going to happen now that chris has been released he, he has been given back his passport and in fact he has been told if he still wants to do a lot of content in tnt he can still do that what are you going to talk about hey my lady in doha what are you going to talk about there is another one doing her tingo right here in bungoma another one in germany another one in nairobi kenya where are you what are you going to talk about because now the issue about chris has come to an end what are you going to talk about so my people these people as i have said previously they have selective amnesia and they say what they want to say as if they don't have donors they do have donors if you just go and follow them if you just watch them you'll realize that they have a lot of donors and yet they are working they are working class we have two that are nurses. We have this one in Bungoma that is a business lady, a big business lady. She's a big farmer. That is it. That is the truth. She is. But still, she's in YT just like Chris. We have another teacher that is in Nairobi. Nairobi teacher is a teacher, a high school teacher. I guess so. He's employed. He's earning. But still, they have donors. They have the donators. Has anyone ever told them to stop taking donation? Have they ever talked about it? Have they ever come out to share? Mm -mm. No. But because it is Chris, and because Chris is connected to Dim Wango, do you get the tingle? Because Chris is connected to Dim Wango, and because Chris is connected to I am Maro, hey, they need just to rubbish his name and ensure that <clears throat> it's like you take mad and mix mix and mix and mix and mix and then you smear on a person's name 
until when people look at him they just see him as a person who is I don't know corrupt a thief whatever their intention is but just what I want to say this Friday is this when it comes to donations it is free willing buyer willing seller and most of these people that are criticizing Di Mwango, those who came out to attack her and say that uh, Di Mwango has always pretended to have money and yet during her life when she was in um she when she was in tax and kaikos when she was asking for you know people to help her and they were coming out to attack her it's not okay you have your own donors you have your donators who can who has ever come out to talk about it who has ever come out to talk about it so before you remove the speck that is in your brother's eye or the log that is in your brother's eye begin by doing it we have had uh content creators like wodemaya who came out publicly to seek for a donation in fact you cannot compare christmas list with wodemaya wodemaya has over 1m subscribers wodemaya drops content after content and when you just look at the views oh my god but he came out here appealing for people to help him realize his dream so when chris does it with only 300k subscribers you want to strangle him you want to choke him shame on you shame on you on top of it shame on you can you stop attacking people on the streets of yt let us have what we call constructive criticism if actually you mean well because sometimes you can find a person will just come out to uh <clears throat> to drag someone's name so as to make people hate them but my people let me tell you one thing there's one thing that i've learned as much as i'm still a small content creator but there's something that i've learned about yt once you have your organic subscribers that is it so when you look at christmas list do you think he has these subscribers that cannot help him hmm? i'm asking you black beauty tv modesta you know i'm carrot on trending there's niger daughter i don't know she's called niger daughter there is a nairobi teacher this question is meant for you does it mean that he doesn't have uh, organic subscribers hey english is not englishing does it mean that he doesn't have those subscribers that he built the channel with i'm so happy in my small cupboard in my small cupboard as of now i have um 1700 and around 20 subscribers hey i can't believe <clears throat> let me tap myself on the back -ra -ra -ra. i can't believe And I'm so happy. And I know that it's just a matter of time. Step by step, you get there. So if you don't get the tingle, I hope <clears throat> you get it. I hope you get it. I don't know what is choking me. Hey, okay, so that is it. Let's run to ta -da 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 -da. Hey, mm -mm. Jamaican uncle. Do you remember Jamaican uncle? The guy who came from Atlanta. I don't know whether Atlanta is in Georgia or whether it is Georgia in Atlanta. Please tell me. You know, you know, your Mary has never been out of Kenya, so I don't know. So this guy came all the way from shop, USA to Kenya, my country. Went to Nyabohanse, met Marwa, did content, got his subscribers. Are we together? And he's now back in georgia in fact he went back to georgia it's almost a month the other day i watched one of the content creator that was really really laughing Ra <laughs> i want to say laughing hey english so there's one content creator niger daughter that was laughing her head off that jamaican uncle uncle's channel is going down the drain that Mara's fan <clears throat> let me sip some water yeah so she was saying that mara's fans have abandoned they have done what abandoned is it abandoned or abandoned 
forgive me my mother tongue. My mother tongue is playing tricks on me today. And I don't have any intention of editing this video. Mm -mm. <coughs> I will not edit. So my people, <laughs> they are now saying that Jamaican uncle is gradually losing views. But that is not the truth. That is not the truth. If there's one content creator that has if there's one content creator that has really amazed me, it is Jamaican uncle. Let me tell you one thing. Having an influencer to help your channel grow is not wrong. And that one I'm 101% sure. And there's nothing that you can tell me. There's nothing wrong. The problem will be if they help you grow. Get the 1K subscribers, get the 4,000 watch hours, and you don't do anything, you just sit. You don't work hard. That is where the problem will come. But once you become consistent, like we see Jamaican uncle, since he went back to America, he has been going out of his way just to show us different, you know, his lifestyle back there. He has taken us to many places. He has showed us his restaurant, his neighborhood, <clears throat> cleaning his yard. Do you get the tingle? He has taken us to Walmart. He has taken us to so many places. In other words, I'm saying this man has been consistent, consistent. And I'm happy for him because every time he drops a video, it does not have less than 1K views. He's doing good. He is doing good. He may not be getting the 5,000 or the 10,000 views, but he's above 1K views. That is something to take home. That is something to make this man proud. <laughs> I just knew that the naysayers were sitting, sitting, just uh, folding their hands, watching every day when he does his video, the outcome. And the reason is because these people are not good. They are not good. <clears throat> Their hearts are not clean. <laughs> Why would you be happy when someone's channel is not doing well? Unless you are a psychic. Are you a sadist? Why would you be so happy that if Mary does her content, it doesn't get a lot of views? What would you gain by that? <laughs> what would you gain out of that? What I believe in, having an influencer like Jamaican uncle went tomorrow, there's no problem. But if you just do that and you sit down, your channel is going to die. Because we saw that happening. We had people that went to Nyabohansi in November last year and December. And then their channels, shoop, after getting out of Nyabohansi, no consistency. There are those even that have not decided their niche. And then you want to come out and say that, oh, Mara subscribers have abandoned them. Ah, uh -uh. no. It is all about the work that you put into what you do. Just the work. Nothing much. The work. And I, I in fact, have learned this from Di Mwango. When she was introduced to YouTube by Marwa, she did her best to be where she is today. If she was just sitting and, you know, taking things lightly, she would never be where she, she is today. Should not have the 400k subs. Should never have traveled to over 40 countries. And the reason is because no work put, no effort, no energy. And I believe that Jamaican uncle will still keep on uh, creating content, and this channel will go uh, will go on growing. That is it. Hey, that is it whether you like it or not. That is it. His channel will grow and he will be okay. So my people, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing if you have not done so. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Your comments means a lot to me. And I try as much as possible and answer all so that you understand that is the much that you mean to me. I love you so much. Thank you so much for now and goodbye.